The Walking Dead is back as I recently watched The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Left, episode one, so let's talk about it. So the episode is about Rick trying to find his place in the new world. As we know in season nine, he got taken away by a helicopter. And in the finale of The Walking Dead, it shows him trying to get back to his family. So with this episode in this brand new series, we finally get Rick Grimes back. As he is pretty much trying to find his place in this new world as well as trying to get back to his wife and daughter. And this episode is a great start to this series. And it is just so great to see Andrew Lincoln as Rick Grimes back. Just seeing his motivation and just how far he would go. It's just done perfectly well. So far with just this episode only, it reminds me of back when Walking Dead was super good. And I'm hoping this season stays this way. And we do see Denai Guerrero back as Miss Own. And it is great to see these two together once again. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like their chemistry is even more stronger in this series so far. And one thing that was interesting about this episode was that we get to learn a little bit more about the community, about the people who took Rick Grimes as well as learn more about Rick Grimes himself. And one thing is that the beginning moments of this episode, holy crap, it was pretty brutal. Overall, so far, with just the first episode of The Ones Who Live, it is a pretty great episode that looks like it could become a pretty great series, and I hope it remains good throughout the season. But have you seen episode one? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below and follow me for more. I recently watched a new episode of The Ones Who Live, episode 2, so let's talk about it. So the episode is about Mason finding unexpected help as he is looking for Rick. Pretty much so in what Mason has been up to since we last saw her in the finale. And this was a pretty good episode focusing on Mason for the most part. As well as tying in to the first episode. As it just sets up for a lot more. But with this episode, Denai Guerrero as Mason is great to see as always. It's pretty interesting to see where she's been since we last saw her. From the finale and from season 9. Or was it season 10? And one thing that I liked about this episode was that it explores more of the survivors within the apocalypse that are pretty likable characters. And with this episode tying into the first one, it just sets up for a lot more as I feel like the viewer, including myself, have no idea what's going to happen next. And with this being only six episodes, it's safe to say it might get a second season. But overall, Denai Guerrero as Mason is great as always. Same with Andrew Lincoln as Rick. And one thing with the two of them is that I feel like their chemistry is even stronger in this show. Which I am glad to see. Overall, this is another great episode in The Ones Who Live. And I hope it continues to be really good. But have you seen this new episode? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below and follow me for more. I recently watched a new episode of The Ones Who Left, so let's talk about it. So episode 3 is about Rick and Mitzon having to find a way to survive as they're in the new area. And this episode expands more of what happened with Rick after Jadis rescued him. And it shows Mitzon adapting in the new area. And this is a pretty good episode so far. And we get more of Rick and Mitzon, which sets up for a lot more of them. Sets up for a pretty interesting arc between them. How it plays out, I don't know. But also with this episode, we get more of Jadis. And it was pretty interesting to see her once again. A bit different too. I never fully watched World Beyond because I didn't like it. But it pretty much went off with what they showed of her from that. And with what this episode does with some of the characters, it sets up for a lot of interesting stuff. And some stuff that kind of feels like throwbacks to moments in the original seasons. Overall, this was another great episode that just sets up for a lot more. And I think this might be the midway point for the season. There's six episodes, right? Overall, another great episode. But have you seen it? If so, what are your thoughts? Let me know and follow for more. I recently watched The Ones Who Live, episode 4, so let's talk about it. So the episode is about Rick and Matone trying to find the love that they had. And with this episode, it is pretty much centered just mostly on Rick and Matone as they're figuring out and learning stuff about each other. And Andrew Lincoln and Denai Guerrero as Rick and Matone are great as always. This episode was very important for their characters. And with this episode, it goes off of what we saw in the last episode when Matone knocks Rick out of the helicopter. Which had some interesting stuff that happens and what it leads to. But with how Rick was in this episode, I do feel like it might frustrate some people. Because it somewhat reminded me of how he was in the beginning of Season 7. He wasn't fully like that in this episode, but borderline like how he was in that season. But there was just powerful moments between Rick and Mason, And what seems to be a lot of character arc setting up and a lot of character development. As they learn about things from one another. And we do see how the past is affecting Rick. Overall, this is a very character-driven episode. Which, it was pretty good for the most part. I did enjoy it, and now there are only two episodes left. But, have you seen episode 4 of The Ones Who Live? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below, and follow me for more. 
I recently watched a brand new episode of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, episode 5, so let's talk about it. So the episode is about dangerous people make Rick and its own journey difficult, as they're headed back to Alexandria, pretty much. And this is the best episode in the season. Like, this episode in the beginning kind of felt like a bit of a honeymoon episode. An apocalyptic honeymoon episode. As this is focused on moments between Rick and Mason as they're headed back to Alexandria. And of course, with this being The Walking Dead, things happen. And just a lot of stuff from this episode was amazing. From the performances from Andrew and Denai. As well as seeing an old face once again. And with this episode, we do get more of Jadis. Or whatever her name is now. Which, I do feel like it expanded her character a lot more, which was pretty interesting. And this episode sets up for what could be an awesome finale. And with this season, it is just peak Walking Dead once again. This series and the Daryl Dixon series are just peak Walking Dead, to be honest. Some of the best things from Walking Dead that I feel like a lot of fans needed. Overall, this was another awesome episode in The Ones Who Live. And I cannot wait for the season finale next week. But have you seen the latest episode of The Ones Who Lived? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below and follow me for more. I watched The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live finale, so let's talk about it. So the episode is called The Last Time. And the episode is about Rick and Mason having to perform this near impossible miracle. And holy crap, this was actually a pretty good finale. Like, it is a miracle they have to perform. Because Rick has to go off to do this one thing. Mason is trying to find the papers that Zeta, so Anne, whatever her name is, left hidden. And it is definitely a miracle if they, like, do this right. But with this being a finale, it wrapped up this series perfectly well. That, of course, can lead into more in the future. But with the episode itself, the things that happened, Rick and Mason, the characters, it was all amazingly done. And one thing I would like to mention, I mentioned this several times before, but with this series, I felt like it did a much better job with Andrew Lincoln, Denai Guerrero, Rick and Mason's chemistry than it did in the original series. As their chemistry is strong, their character love is strong, and it is the main focus of the series. And with this episode, it just brings it all back around. As there are some callbacks to the original series in this episode, which was pretty cool to see. And some pretty cool acts and some pretty cool moments. And of course, with this being Walking Dead, there are some pretty cool, disgusting walkers. But with this at least being either a season one or a mini series, it is some of the best stuff that is in the Walking Dead universe. This, along with the Daryl Dixon series, which I need a season two of that soon. But overall, this was a great finale. And I can't wait to see what they do with The Walking Dead next. Hopefully we can see some of the characters come back for Daryl Dixon Season 2. Because I know a lot of people want this and I want this too. I need to see Rick and Daryl reunite. But have you seen the finale of The Ones Who Live? If so, what are your thoughts on it? What are your thoughts on the series in general? Let me know in the comments below and follow me for more.